Join us on Patreon to support our channel and the work we do to help people, animals and the planet. You'll get rewards like ebooks, one-on-one -on -one Skype calls and online coaching discounts. Just woken up guys, had to share this ridiculous news with you. Our video response to Supreme Banana, do vegans cheat on their diet? That video has been age restricted by YouTube. So that means some twit watched our video, didn't like it because it was too graphic and decided to report it to YouTube. So what are the ramifications of this? Well, there are three main ones. The first is that it's age restricted and so now people have to be signed in and obviously it limits the audience that can actually view the video. You have to be 18 plus. Exactly. And then it, it's also now going to be limited where YouTube will promote the video in terms of recommended videos. And so much of our traffic comes from those recommended videos. So we lose a huge audience. And then thirdly, we can't monetize it. So was the video violent? Did it show violent footage? Yes, it absolutely did. Why? Because that is the truth. That's what actually goes on. This video was for educational purposes. No, we're not encouraging violence, obviously. We get people saying to us all the time, no, don't show me, please put a warning. You have to warn people. And no, we didn't put a warning in that video. Why? Because we want to reach people that are not vegan. When these videos are in the recommended list, when someone's watching YouTube, if they're a meat eater and they see this video come up and it's an interesting topic and it's been recommended to them, they're likely to click on it. They're not likely to click on it if it says warning graphic because what meat eater wants to watch a warning graphic video from a vegan channel? They're not going to click on it. They want to keep their heads stuck in the sand. So if you don't want to watch it, if you find it difficult, too challenging, you don't need it, you've seen it before, fine. Don't watch it. Click off the video, fast forward the video, unsubscribe from the channel. We don't care if you leave our channel altogether. We don't need your one view if you're going to do this. I mean, it's just a huge ramification. Limited audience means less people get to see the truth about animal abuse. And especially and young people. Young people are the future of this world if there is to be one. They need to see the truth of what's going on because if enough of them get together, rally together, you know, then we can actually change some things. They're the ones running social media these days. They need to see the truth. If slaughterhouses had glass walls, the world would be vegan. Well, you know what the glass walls are? YouTube. We don't need YouTube censorship. If we censor YouTube, that's it. It's all gone because you've got things like ag gag laws. This world is becoming more and more censored in terms of the things that need to be shown, that people need to see. I mean, when do you walk into a supermarket and there's a warning, graphic, dead bodies hanging? I mean, that offends me. The middle step is what's keeping the world from not going vegan. You see the animals out in the pasture lands and you see the neat plastic packaged dismembered body parts, but the middle process that the animal agriculture industry deliberately keeps hidden is the bit that we need to show. The question that needs to be asked is, if it's not good enough for people's eyes, why is it good enough for their stomachs? I mean, we are so pissed off. And just to be clear, you know, we get a lot of complaints about this topic of not putting a warning. And do you know what? So many of those complaints are from vegans. People say, I'm vegan, but you know, you shouldn't have showed that or you should have put a warning. Put the animals before your ego, before what you want. We hear, I don't want to watch it. I've seen this. I shouldn't have clicked on this it video. It triggers me. I, 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 that's the common word. How about animals, 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 animals need people to see this. If you only want to watch videos that give you the warm and fuzzies and make you feel good and they don't show you the truth, Go and watch a makeup tutorial or something. There is plenty of rubbish on YouTube that can just numb your brain. But don't go after vegan channels that are speaking the truth and speaking up for animals. I mean, how pathetic a move is that? I, I, put yourself in the victim's shoes. If you were the one being raped, having your baby stolen, being tortured, abused, and having your throat slit, do you think... You would want people showing this on YouTube. Do you think you would want warnings or would you want every person that would might just click on that video to see it? And that's the problem with the world today. We lack the ability to put ourselves in the other person's shoes, in the victim's shoes. It's all about I, 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 this egocentric world and it's crumbling around us. 
we actually had someone comment on this video and the comment is now disappeared, we can't find it, who said, thanks for the graphic warning, not, I wouldn't have clicked on this video if I had known. That's the whole point. You wouldn't have clicked on this video if you had known. And that's coming from a vegan. So what do you think a meat eater's gonna do? So there were so many other vegan YouTubers that made response videos on this topic and that was fantastic to see. And they're much bigger channels and they're getting you know, five, 10,000 views and so on on their videos, which is awesome. Our video this morning has about 2,000 views. You know, We hope that it would go further than that. So this is going to restrict and limit the views again, the potential of how much this video can grow. Now having said that, the most amazing thing was that Cammy and her boyfriend actually watched our video and they left comments, both of them, big long comments. Go and check out the comment section. Amazingly, they thanked us for the video. They said, thank you for your approach, we learned something. They hadn't seen those documentaries, they hadn't seen the footage. And now they're planning to watch those uh, documentaries to educate themselves about the ethics. So our video that has been restricted, that was so bad apparently, actually educated the very person and people that we were you know, making it for. It worked, that's how effective it is. But now because one person decided, I don't wanna see it, you should have warned me. I'm going to report you. Well, congratulations, really wonderful, wonderful effort. It is, it is, I'm, I'm repulsed. I'm actually repulsed. I didn't sleep last night. We worked on that video from 7.30 on Sunday morning until 6.30 in the evening is when it went live. And we worked on it solid that whole time. Now that's 11 hours and the only, obviously the video is free and the way that we are compensated is through advertising revenue by monetization. And now we can't monetize the video. And that's not fair yeah. because content producers need to be paid for their time. You know, we've I got mean, to keep a roof over our head and food on the table. Otherwise, you know, we can't make these videos. And if we can't make these videos, then the truth is limited. It's one less voice for the animals, you know. And obviously we don't make videos for money. There's I 150 mean, billion animals that need every single activist's voice to be heard. So on that note... If you support our work, if you want to see us keep spreading this message and doing this work, don't forget you can support us on Patreon. So to wrap this video up, we will have to put warnings on our videos if we're going to show graphic content. And by the way, that does not mean that other people can't still report the video. We are now on the bad list of YouTube. And if we get too many red flags, the channel could be taken down, right? So now we have to be kind of careful in what we do. Thanks very much, whoever this tweet was. Basically, if you don't like what you see, please just click off the video, send us a nasty comment, that's fine. Give it a thumbs down, unsubscribe, whatever. But please think about the bigger picture before you do something so stupid like report a video to and YouTube. Selfish. So let us know in the comments below, guys, what do you think about this very important topic of YouTube censorship of animal abuse videos for people under the age of 18? Do you think that they should be able to view it? Do you think they should know the truth of where their food comes from? Or do you think instead that perhaps, you know, we should wait until their parents show them or the media shows them or the government shows them or the church shows them or the school shows them? Which is obviously never going to happen. Like, dislike, share the video around, subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye. So if you have found it quite difficult to sort of pay attention to what I'm saying because you have my husband here, Luca, putting makeup on.